anger and the uh, singing. Uh, the rain has been falling quite heavily here and the numbers have been dwindling. Earlier there was about 1,500 here, now barely 800, and it's thought that maybe by the small hours there could be as few as 150. Um, but really, everyone's waiting. That's the air here. Everyone's waiting to see what will happen. Not just the media, not just the police, but the demonstrators. Uh, it's almost as if they know that it's going to come to an end. It has to come to an end, but they're waiting to see how and when that will happen. Back to you. Damon, thank you very much indeed. The Liberal Democrat MP Simon Hughes has declared that he will not enter the race to become the capital's mayor. He had a press conference today to rule himself out of the running for the top job in London politics. Many people had expected him to become the main Liberal Democrat candidate for the post. I made the decision in the autumn that you can't really be an MP and go off and campaign for 14 months for another job. I think my constituents would rightfully feel that um, I wasn't honouring the terms of the contract. A burglar has been jailed for life for murdering a 60-year-old widow in her bed after breaking into her home. 26-year-old Brian Sweeney strangled and sexually assaulted Sylvia Wilson at Kingsbury in North London last June. An Old Bailey jury found him guilty. Streets of London were tonight brought to a standstill as legendary boxer Muhammad Ali toured Brixton. Hundreds of fans turned out to salute the former heavyweight champion. Ali was promoting Jubilee 2000, the campaign to cancel third world debt for the start of the new millennium. Despite his physical difficulties, he could still turn on the magic and fans were impressed. That moment was so inspirational. It seemed a legend that I never thought I could ever bless my eyes on, let alone kiss him and hold him. He's an inspiration to us all, you know, and mainly for the black people as well. And we want our kids coming up to look at him and admire him and one day be like him. Tonight's football and Gianluca Vialli is sent off as Chelsea are pegged to a draw by born again Blackburn. And Arsenal secure a point from Manchester United at Old Trafford. Nicholas Anelka with the Gunners strike. Andy Cole called one back with his Premiership century, but Man U may well live to rue Dwight York's penalty miss. Confirmation of those results, Chelsea won, Blackburn won, and Manchester United won, Arsenal won. Meanwhile, in the Worthington Cup, Spurs now know that they'll face Leicester in the final after the Midlanders put out First Division Sunderland after a one-all draw at Filbert Street. That's it. Back in the morning. Until then, good night. Sponsored by Amarada, the energy company. Hello again. Quite a murky night here in the southeast, but at least temperatures are going in the right direction. It's warming up slowly through the night, in spite of those outbreaks of rain and drizzle. A lot of low cloud around, so rather misty, I think, by the end of the night. For tomorrow morning, not the most promising start. A grey start for most of us. Still little bits of light rain or drizzle drifting around the region, but most of it moving away to the east pretty quickly. And there's a good chance, I think, that here in the southeast, we'll see one or two sunny spells developing through the afternoon. And it will be very mild, temperatures into double figures for the first time in a long time, up to around 10 or 11, that's around 52, though the winds will be freshening up, I think, through the afternoon, and by tomorrow evening we'll see thicker cloud and maybe more rain coming our way, but most of the day dry and mild. Good night. For a more detailed five-day outlook, call Weather Update, sponsored by Amarada. A villain in the dock. They'll take any opportunity they can to make it look fence. Dodgy dealings at the station. Crimes on the floor. We may have a problem. Could there be a traitor in the ranks? Can you tell us, is this your signature? It's a set up, the account, everything. What's going on? Good question. The Bill, 8 o'clock Thursday on ITV. My greatest dream is to make it as a footballer. The hopes and dreams of the future. If I became famous, I would love every minute of it. The pressures of success. It's very difficult to make the change from boy to man in this game. I look at him, I think he can't fail. The World at Their Feet, Tuesday 10.40 on ITV. Elvis and eyeliner, Bowie's sexually ambivalent Ziggy Stardust, Rocky and Pop's rich history, Walk on the Wild Side, next. <laughs> For a safer drive, the new generation Citroen Xantia Activa. Minimizes body roll. I love you, yes I do, cause I know that you love me too. I love you, yes I do, gonna spend all my money on you. Oh, I'm all, give me more, all I want is 
Unlike most cars, all new generation Citroen Xantias have both ABS and front and side airbags to protect your head and neck. It was just a small gathering. Kylie, intimate and live tonight at 11.40 on ITV. Now we take a walk on the wild side. Mm -hmm. 